Hello everybody. Topic one in algebra one is solving equations and inequalities. Solving equations and inequalities, it's a fundamental part of mathematics and is essential for understanding relationships between variables and making informed decisions in various real world scenarios. This topic contains seven lessons. Lesson one, operations on real numbers. Operations on real numbers are fundamental mathematical processes used to manipulate and, co and compute with real numbers. Real numbers include rational numbers, irrational numbers. The basic operations on real numbers are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The properties of real numbers are Commutative property, associative property, distributive property, identity property, inverse, zero property. Remember that the order of operations or PEMDAS applies when evaluating expressions involving multiple operations. This order ensures consistent and inabiogous results when working with real numbers. By mastering these basic operations and their properties, you can perform a wide range of calculations involving real numbers, whether you are solving equations, working with functions, or analyzing data. Lesson 2 and 3, they are related to solving the linear equations. Linear equation with one variable, well, when the variable is on one side of the equal sign of the identity or in both sides of the identity. Remember that linear equation can, can have one solution, no solutions or infinitely many solutions depending on their structure and coefficients. If the coefficient of x is zero, the equation may be a constant equation. It's important to understand the principles of solving linear equations as they serve as the foundations for more advanced algebraic concepts and real world problem solving. Lesson four, literal equations and formula. This involves solving for a specific variable in an equation that contains multiple variables. These equations are often used in various fields to express relationships between different quantities. They play a crucial role in solving real world problems and understanding mathematical models. Some of the applications of the literal equations and formulas are widely used in various disciplines like physics, engineering, economics, geometry. By manipulating literal equations, you can analyze relationships between variables, make predictions, and solve real-world problems invo involving complex mathematical models. Lesson 5, it's about solving inequalities in one variable, which is followed by Lesson 6, Compound Inequalities. Linear inequalities and compound inequalities involve expressions that include inequality symbols less than, greater than, less than or equals, or greater than or equals, and may involve multiple terms or conditions. They are used to describe relationships between quantities that are not equal. Linear inequalities and compound inequalities are essential for describing a wide range of world problem scenarios from setting budget constraints in finance to temperature ranges in physics. They allow you to express co constraints and relationships that are not based on strict equality. And the last lesson in the topic, it's absolute value equations and inequalities, which involve the absolute value of real number, which represents its distance from zero on the number line. The absolute value of a number x is denoted by the symbol and is always a non-negative value. Absolute value equations and inequalities are used to model situations where distance, magnitude, or constraints play a role. They appear in various contexts such as physics, distance, engineering, tolerances, economics, inequality constraints. Understanding how to work with absolute value equations and inequalities allows you to analyze scenarios involving both positive and negative 
values. With this said, wish you all good luck.